guys and welcome to this video. Today I wanted to do a question and answer format video. A month ago I did a video called um, hashtag ask synchro episode 1. So today I wanted to continue that and do hashtag synchro episode number 2. Now a bunch of you sent me some questions through the video, through Facebook, through Instagram. So I'm going to answer a few of them today. I don't want it to go too long. Uh, but to, before you go ahead, this video is really about me and my perceptions and about my life and things. So if this is not an educational video, you might have some educational value out of it. But this is mostly answering your questions for things that you guys wanted my perception or my understanding on. So having said that, if you don't want to know anything about me or any of that stuff, see you next week for an educational video. But um, if you do want to know stuff about me, then you can ask me some questions hashtag synchro and i will um hashtag ask synchro and i will answer those questions for you so for those of you who asked me questions uh, da, da, da. so i all right so someone asked me a question in last last month's ask synchro video uh, a young lady wrote that she suffers from misophonia which is a sensitivity to sound, is a reaction to sound, loud sounds, certain sounds, certain environments. Uh, and she said, does doing energy, does energy and positivity relieve the stress around the experience? My answer to you, dear young lady, is that yes, it does. Um, in my experience, okay, I'm, I'm very sensitive to sound as well. I mean, I don't live in the city for that same reason. But um, I believe in two things. I believe that there is stimulus and then there is your response to the stimulus. Most of our response to the stimulus is very unconscious. We're not even aware of like that it's an instant reaction to a loud sound or to a thought or to um, something that you saw, an expression someone made or a statement somebody makes. So it's that reaction is immediate and it's an unconscious reaction. So most of the time we're very unconscious because there's no gap between the stimulus and the reaction. In my personal um, practice, I practice uh, mindfulness on a daily basis. In my practicing mindfulness, what I've noticed is that the more you are mindful of yourself, you begin to create a gap between the stimulus and your response to the stimulus. So the more you become mindful and more conscious, the unconscious reaction, the unconscious behavior starts dissolving. So in my experience, it will not just dissolve the entire experience uh, of reacting negatively or, and the stress around it and all the negativity around it, but it will also make you extremely um, peaceful and you'll be able to watch what is happening or what you're hearing exactly how it is without any negative reaction to it. So in my personal opinion, practicing mindfulness can dissolve any sort of unconscious behavior problem. So that was my answer. I hope that that answer helped you. So to answer your question, yes, yes, very much possible. Okay, moving on to question number two, All right? Question number two, where are you? All right, sun gazing. Have I sun gazed? What has been my experience of sun gazing? Uh, yes, back in 2012, I did do an experiment when I was in university. Of I did a very brief, short, a short amount of time uh, where I would wake up early in the morning and I would sun gaze for a short period of time. Now, what I did notice was an increase in energy levels throughout the day. But at the same time, during that time, I was also on a lot of, um, uh, I was having a lot of smoothies, constant smoothies. Um, and I was listening to some form of music. So all of those things were impacting the state of alignment, a very high state of alignment I was in in 2012. So I cannot tell you in isolation whether it was sun gazing that gave me those experiences. My cat is here. Uh, sun gazing, um, whether it was just sun gazing that gave me the results, but I do know people who swear by sun gazing do it till this day and have found a lot of incredible physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual benefits. So I do recommend you do your research. And if this is something that you resonate with doing, go ahead, do your research, and then uh, go ahead and do your sun gazing. All right, question three. I'm rushing because I don't want you to, I don't want to. Um, I don't know if you guys want to listen to my opinions or not, so I don't want to take up too much of your time either. All right. Question three. Do I live in India? Yes, I live in India. I live 
in South India in a city called Bangalore. So for those of you who are in Bangalore, heading to Bangalore, hit me up and we shall hang out. <laughs> All right. Fourth question is about manifestation. A lot of people ask me this. What have you manifested? You talk so much about manifestation. What have you manifested? Show me, what's the proof? And how do I manifest things? So, the most popular video on my channel is on manifestation. And I made that video about four years ago, three, four years ago. I don't remember, a few years ago. Anyway, to kind of go really fast with my batteries dying as well. I basically everything is a manifestation whether you're manifesting positive things or negative things it's a direct manifestation of memories and interference data crap in the subconscious mind so the more you clean out on the crap the more clearer your reality becomes that is my personal perception so all the traditional methods of manifestation definitely work but I don't personally use those methods today today I use a method of manifestation which is on a completely different league which I've never spoken about on camera because I don't know how many people would be completely willing to be doing the um, are ready for that kind of a, you know manifestation experience uh, so what I basically do is I don't manifest with conscious and conscious intention mental intentions anymore because um, my mind is extremely limited in its perception of what is possible for me and is and when you are when you are in that state of mental projection it's a lot of ego that comes in that says this is exactly how i want things and a lot of the times we don't see the bigger possibilities around it so how i practice my manifestation is through um, inspiration i practice acting on inspiration that comes directly from the divine and that's a whole other kind of manifestation process which maybe someday i will talk about um, but yeah, uh, so to answer more specifically to what you guys would have been asking me, which is, you know, have you manifested money and that opportunity and the big house and the big car and all of those things that a lot of people are looking to manifest. Uh, that's not mostly my desire to manifest anyway. My desires are mostly opportunities, experiences, people. Um, yes, to be honest, I have manifested all of that and more, uh, you know, incredible relationships, links. Uh, opportunities, creation, things that I a thousand times more than I've ever manifested using a more simple manifestation technique. So I've done that. I've done it. I've done it. Uh, I'm very good at doing it. Uh, the manifestation work. So I'm, I'm more. I'm mostly about surrender and guidance than consciously writing down what I want to achieve. And in being in surrender and in being in acting out of inspiration. I found myself in a place that I still don't understand how I am in because it, my mind can't wrap itself around it. Long story. Anyway, um, so that's it. To answer your question, I manifested all, this, all, all the things that you wanted to manifest. At the same time, I, I, uh, I practice manifestation differently. Okay, uh, last question. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be interesting. This question I get asked by a lot of people is... Um, how much time do I have left? Okay. This question is, um, am I single? Am I single? Am I in a relationship? Uh, to answer your question, um, no, I'm not single. In fact, I'm married. Yep. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> no, I am married to my mission. I am married to bringing the best out of myself uh, in terms of content for the world in terms of bringing out empowerment and conscious content for the world so uh, i am a 24 24 by 7 hustler i work mostly on my mission i uh, so i don't really ha everything else is uh, for me personally is a distraction so i don't i'm no not I do, i'm not um yeah, so someone has asked me, are you looking for a nice boy for yourself? No, I'm not looking for a boy. If anything, I'm looking for a king. So if you're on the same mission as me, it would be a lot easier. But if most people and me just, are, my path goes somewhere else, everyone else's path goes somewhere else. So unless you're on the same path, things will not work out. So, um, so in, and, and, and the single life is where it's at. So it's really good for people like me who are 
mostly fo- not to say that you can't focus on your life and be in a relationship like of course you can just for me as a person because uh, i'm go 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 uh, towards my projects i you know i'm 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 making my debut in the reggae industry that's a big thing for me i'm working on a big album i am you know i do 10 different projects i do i have a different youtube channel as well so because i am somebody who whose interest is, con- is constantly on um projects and doing more content bringing out more content everything else is not in my radar as of now not to say in the future it won't be but um as of that now, is it that is my question and answer video i hope i answered your questions to the best of my abilities uh if you have so i'm planning to do these uh, ask synchro uh videos once in a month for those of you who kind of want to know me a little more deeper or want to know my perspectives so on a little more deeper so if you have questions for me whether it's personal questions and personal questions educational questions music related questions anything uh go ahead and you can write to me on you can to in my email i have all the links in the description box you can email me your questions you can direct message me on instagram you can write to my facebook um or you can just leave a comment below with the hashtag ask synchro and it does not matter what question it is as long as you want me to answer it go ahead and ask it to me you can uh you can say you know you, you if you're writing to me directly you can tell me yo don't mention my name or if you want me to mention your name say yo mention my name so uh go ahead and do that and i'll see you um next month for another ask synchro question but next week for another synchro shakti regular educational more serious uh kind of a video so uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you again soon. Bye and have a good week.